So we are on poem number three, which is called The Poison Tree. And it's still by William Blake. I promise they're not all going to be about him, but these, the first three are. This is one of my favorite poems. Um, and when you get to the end of it, you're going to wonder what is wrong with this woman? Why is this her favorite poem? But it really is. I love the flow of it. Um, okay, so what we're looking at, again, first things first, our first clue is that this comes from Songs of Experience. Remember, I said Songs of Experience come from the, the people who have been around the block a few times. They've been broken by the world. The world is not a fair place, and everybody knows it, and they're, they're kind of bitter and angry about it. Okay. So we're going to start again. Um, th these are all very short, very sweet. You notice they're all about the same uh, length. Okay. So first stanza says, I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath. My wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not. My wrath did grow. Okay. So step one, wrath means anger. If you remember we, in our discussion about the seven deadly sins, wrath was one of those sins. We're not talking about just, oh, I was a little upset or I was a little ticked off. We're talking about angry, okay, livid, angry. And this guy, he told his friend and he let it go. My wrath did end. Okay. I was angry with my foe. I told it not and it grew. Okay. So he's got, he's letting it fester and boil inside. And this is where we, this is called an extended metaphor. We have turned our wrath into an object. So from the rest of the uh, poem, this anger becomes an object. Okay. I watered it in fears, night and morning with my tears, and I sunned it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wiles. Deceitful meaning lies. And it grew both day and night until it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and he knew that it was mine. And into my garden stole when night had veiled the pole. In the morning, glad I see my foe outstretched beneath the tree. Um, if we were in a regular classroom, I would talk to you about who this apple was for. Okay, his, The metaphor here is that his hatred becomes an actual apple. And this apple is poisonous. Um, and it's an obvious reference back to the Garden of Eden. Okay, so we have a couple of things going on here. We have Garden of Eden. We also have um, an extended metaphor. Now, I told you a second ago that the metaphor is that we've changed our apple, or excuse me, our hatred becomes something. And, and now we know... It becomes an apple, okay? It starts here watering it, and then he um, he suns it with smiles and soft, deceitful wiles. So he's faking, okay? He's lying to the guy. And he grew this tree, and this tree grew him an apple, a big, bright, shiny apple of hatred. And he says he knew it was mine, okay? So the foe is still after him. He's still upset with him, and he knew it was his. And so the uh, foe sneaks in, in the middle of the night and steals the apple and eats it. And of course it poisons him and he dies right there on the spot. Now the question I would have asked you in class is if someone else had eaten that apple, would it have killed them? Or is that apple specifically designed to poison the foe and only the foe? Because remember it comes from hatred for that foe. Um, most of the time people say, no, it's only for that one guy. Okay, so let's go back up to the top here, and we're going to look at our rhyming again. Friend, end, well, those two rhyme, and that's our first set, so we're going to do A. Foe, grow, again, those two rhyme, so that's set B. Fears, tears, smiles, wiles, night, bright, shine, mine. So again, you have sets of two, don't you? So again, you have rhyming couplets. Okay, so Blake has a style, huh? Blake has this thing where he keeps doing sets of two, okay? Stole, pole, C, tree, sets of two. Rhyming couplets. Okay, if we had continued on, we'd have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
C and tree, M, E, H, G, H. There you go. You would have A, A, B, B, C, C. And this, the way this is written, I need to tell you this too for your test question answer. The way this will be written in your test question, like let's say you have A, B, C choices, and it says, oops, sorry, you can't see that. A, A, B, B, C, C, or choice A, B, C, A, B, C, or maybe A, B, B, A. Okay, these are the way that, let, these are choices. So if I said, which one of these choices is the rhyme scheme for this poem? You would look up at the top and say, okay, friend in, that's A, A, foe, grow, B, B. So look down here and see. Which one of these is A-A-B-B? -B? Well, there you go. It's this one. That's the way we write it. It's the same letters. We're just putting it out sideways. Okay. So the next time I see you, we will be talking about a different poem and no more William Blake. Okay. So I will see you again in a few minutes.